When Sarah's husband left her, she didn't know where to turn for work, so she prayed for guidance. God impressed her to share his word with her neighbors. Sarah began visiting them. She prays for the sick, and they get well. She prays for relief from evil spirits, and spirits flee. Many were happy when Sarah visited them, but others did not want her in their homes. One day, Sarah visited a family who was worshiping their idol. They demanded that she worship with them, but she politely refused. In response, a young woman became angry and plunged Sarah's hand in the pot of boiling oil. But when she pulled her hand back from the oil, it wasn't burned. The following day, the young woman's father visited Sarah to apologize. He asked her to pray for his family. Sarah was happy to pray for them. Today, this family are Christians, and many others who witnessed Sarah's escape from the boiling oil also ask for prayer. When the local Adventist pastor heard about Sarah's work, he offered her a position as a global mission pioneer, and Sarah gladly accepted it. Sarah continues to visit families in her community, praying with them and sharing literature about Jesus. On Sabbaths, Sarah invites a group of women to worship in her home, and on Wednesdays, she hosts a Bible study. She also helps the widows and orphans in her city. Though she receives a stipend for her work, it's not a lot but Sarah does all she can to also provide for the physical needs of the poor and fatherless, providing food, clothes, and hope. I'm not alone, she says. God takes care of me. I want to be ready when Jesus comes, but I also want others to be ready to meet Jesus too. We can now support Sarah and hundreds of other global mission pioneers by praying for them and by returning to God our tithe and promise, which is the regular and systematic offering. This offering, if distributed as suggested by the Combined Offering Plan, equitably supports all approved missionary projects of the church around the world, including pioneers who are sharing the good news of Jesus' love and soon return. May we put our desires last and God first.